Greg Brunts with another quick tip for you. Today I want to talk about testing the compressors for locked rotor amps. If the unit is tripping the breaker, then it's probably not a locked rotor condition. It's probably a grounded or shorted compressor. If all you hear is like a hum and then it goes off and a hum and it goes off, that's typically a locked rotor. All you what I have here is just a compressor and a control panel out of an air conditioner so that the only wiring that's in there is the wiring going to the compressor itself. It just simplifies it, make it easier for you to see and follow what I'm doing here. For testing a compressor for locked rotor amps, the very first thing you should be doing is taking the capacitor wires off the capacitor and taking the capacitor tester and test the capacitor and make sure you got the right microfarad rating through the capacitor. That capacitor should be plus or minus 10% of the rating on that capacitor. After you've verified that and know the capacitor is good, then we need to see, okay, is this thing really pulling locked rotor or do we have something else going on? What I tell guys to do all the time is turn the power off by the thermostat. We don't have to worry about the compressor tripping the overload by the time we can do the test we need to do. And then we're just going to use a screwdriver to push in on the contactor when we want to send power to the compressor. And what you want to do here is, is you want to get an amp draw on each one. So you clip around the common wire going to the compressor push in on the contactor just long enough to get an amp reading and let go. And then we're going to go ahead and do run the same way. You're going to push in on the contactor just long enough to get an amp reading and let go. And then chances are it's probably going to trip the overload by the time you do those two. So if you, if you go to the start and you get no amps at all, wait a couple minutes and also listen for that hum of that compressor. If you don't hear that hum, then obviously the overload's tripped on the compressor. So may have to wait a couple minutes, shouldn't have to wait more than a minute or two, and then go ahead and do your last amp draw. And you should get amps on all three windings. If you're not getting amps on start, or you're not getting amps on run, it may be that you got an open winding and not a locked rotor condition. So at that point, you may need to ohm out the compressor. But if you do get amps on all three wires, then the next thing you want to do is make sure we don't have a voltage problem going to the compressor. So then what you're going to do is set your meter to volts and you put your two meter leads on the load side of the, of the contactor and use your screwdriver again and push in and just get long enough to get a voltage reading and make sure that the voltage is not dropping too far. And as long as you have amps on all those three and your capacitor is good, then you clearly have a locked up compressor. One thing to keep in mind too, make sure you put a set of gauges on that unit and make sure the pressures are equal because if you're trying to start that compressor and the pressures aren't equal, you're starting it under a load and it probably will not start. Hope you found this tech tip useful. Keep tuning in to edgetechhvac.com for more useful tips.